Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great day today on this last day of 2018. Uh, I've said it so many times, but 2000, 2018 has just been a fantastic year for me and my family and my business and uh, just, just, just awesome stuff. And I hope that it continues through 2019. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Life is great right now. Hopefully yours is as well. Uh, I don't have much to talk about today. Uh, I, I took way more time off than what I was wanting to take off, um, which I was highly motivated by the fact that my little girl is three and a half months old, and there's so many little milestones that have been happening, and I'm just like really soaking up the whole dad life stuff. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and, and then also my wife had... Uh, about two weeks off for the Christmas break. She works for the university here in town. And uh, of course, they generally shut down for uh, the Christmas holidays, Christmas and New Year. So uh, there's that. It's just I just took advantage of a bunch of family time. Um, she doesn't go back to work for another couple days, but I'm getting to the point where there's only so much you can do sitting around the house and I'm getting stir crazy. So I've got to get something done here in the shop. So uh, a couple things, uh, before, right before the Christmas break, I, I started in on a few thicker end grain cutting boards. I'm going to do some um, inlays. If, if you haven't already followed the channel MTM, like Mike, Tom, Mike, MTM Wood on YouTube, then be sure to click it, uh, click the channel and um, subscribe, check out his stuff. Uh, anyway, he, he does a lot of CNC um, inlay type cutting boards and I've got a CNC. I find that process to be fascinating. So I'm going to make some. Um, my goal is to use um, Babinga and Maple to have the colors of kind of like a maroon and white for Mississippi State University and put their logo in it and uh, maybe a saying or something. But I ended up having enough to do three cutting boards. One that's really big Maple and then two slightly smaller um, Babinga boards and I'll use the opposite wood to do the inlay and maybe some multiple inlays. I don't know. Uh, but basically I've got, well, here, I'll do some lazy video editing. That's a, that's a pan shot. And now we're going to zoom. There you go. So I've got some cutting boards and they're going to be kind of, let's see, right there. Those are the, the skinny ones that are the inlay material for the thicker ones over there. So that saved me a little bit of video editing, kind of lazy, but you know, it works. Um, so I started in on that video and I was going to continue to work and get it done, but I just wanted to spend time with family. So I did. Um, so that, that's going to be upcoming and I, I cannot stand working on multiple projects at once. I'm kind of like a, a one tracker. <laughs> I got, I'm easily distracted, so I've got to get whatever I'm working on done. However, that's going to sit still for just a little bit because I need a dog gate in my office. I have, um, we've got four dogs who just went crazy in another room. We've got four dogs. Uh, three of them are older dogs and the youngest of those three is nine years old. They've been together their entire life. Um, and we've got a puppy who is just shy of a year old now. And uh, she's, she went through a little bit of a chewing stage and hasn't chewed on anything in quite a while. Um, so I think that puppy stage is out of her. But the very instant I let her have free roam in the house, she's going to chew. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm deathly afraid of her chewing on my coffee table. I spent a lot of time and effort on that coffee table. It's my most favorite thing that I've ever made. And I'm like borderline going to have a nightmare if she you know, choose on it. So, <laughs> um, so it, I need a dog gate. I've been using plywood for quite a while. It's time to uh, step up from plywood. So I'm going to make a Babinga dog gate and it's going to kind of match the flow of the office. A little bit more decorative than anything in the office. And you know, I was kind of hesitant about this because I wanted the office to be, to remain simple and very basic, but you can see it from the rest of the house. So when you're on the, you know, when you're in the living room and dining room, kitchen area you'll be able to see the dog gate so i want it to look good from that side and on the on the you know the office side i don't really care much because of the dogs um so that project has to happen sooner than later i'm going to pause the cutting boards and get onto this um babinga dog gate and what's cool about it is i've got this 
these two boards, which see how that how nice and straight grain that is. I got a couple knots and a couple little defects or whatever, but some really nice straight grain. That's going to be for the rails. And then for the panels, I've got this pretty gnarly looking uh, board here that has, it does have this like cathedral arc, but inside of this is, is there's a lot of wave and compression through here. So uh, the, I need two of these for each panel. So it's going to be a book matched panel, two book matched panels. And I think it's going to turn out all right. It's either going to look pretty good or like, hey, that doesn't match the rest of the thing at all. So I uh, got all that taken care of planning stages. I'm going to start in on it today. Um, two things, the giveaway, I had a, a massive, massive turnout for the giveaway. Turnout, I guess you could say. Uh, participation, way more participation in that than I thought would happen. Uh, so that's always positive. And uh, of course, none of that would have happened if it wasn't for all of you guys who have uh, taken interest in what I've been doing for so long. So thanks for that again. Um, I said on the, the video for the giveaway, as well as all the social media stuff that I'll post the winners on Christmas Day, which I did. However, there's been a lot of people who have still been sending me messages asking who won. So the winners are posted on the giveaway page. But real quick, just as a congratulations, once again, everyone's been notified. Uh, the number one international prize went to, I'll read them in reverse. The number three international prize went to Thomas Jorgensen. The number two international prize went to Vassal Paliaga. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna butcher some of these names. Number one international prize went to Damien Mc McNamara. I apologize if I messed up your name. In, uh, the USA uh, giveaway package number five went to Ken Serganor. Number four went to Jerry Holloway. Number three went to Jason Roach, and number two went to Patrick Breen. And the number one prize package went to Joseph Laverty. So a uh, huge thank you everyone for, for participating and uh, all of the winners have been very, very appreciative in their responses. So that's been awesome. Uh, the gentleman, Joseph, I think it was Joseph Laverty, um, won the saw stop table saw. It was, it was cool to see somebody who could truly appreciate or truly needs, could benefit from the the prize package they received so he was a little bit down on his luck and uh was i think it was an eight inch old craftsman table saw he was using so huge upgrade uh glad to see it go to somebody who could who could really really put it to use uh, also a big thank you to rockley woodworking and hardware for supporting the giveaway the most also to uh, saw stop table saws for providing a saw stop laguna for providing a laguna lathe and uh, Jonathan Katz Moses, two huge packages for uh, dovetail packages. And then also white side router bits, two large router bit packages as well. So huge, huge success for the giveaway. And I'm glad to see, uh, glad to be able to be in a position where we can give like that. That's awesome. Um, I don't know when the next one will be. Uh, maybe the end of 2019 for whatever reason. I don't know. It, it was just really cool. And I'm glad to be part of it uh, to be able to... Uh, give back like that. That was really great. So thank you for all that. Next on the list is, uh, speaking of Rockler, I'll be at two Rockler stores in Atlanta in February. On Saturday, February 16th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., I'll be at the Kennesaw Rockler store uh, for a meet and greet, uh, you know, hang out. You guys can come on by if you're in the local area to Atlanta. Um, that's Saturday, February 16th. Sunday, February 17th, the next day, I'll be at the Sandy Springs Rockler store from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So uh, it's going to be cool to hang out in Atlanta again. Um, I, uh, I used to hate driving through Atlanta because Atlanta traffic is crazy. But the time that I spent out there this, this past visit uh, for the IWF Atlanta 2018, I really enjoyed being there. There was uh, I guess I appreciated the city a little bit more because I was spent a little bit more time downtown and and moving around and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad to be going back next February, next month, the 16th and 17th. Both Rockler stores. I'll have uh, information down below so you can put it on your calendar if you are in the area and want to uh, hang out and have a good time. So next up on the list is I don't have anything else. Uh, my baby is doing really good. She's sleeping all the way through the night. I'm getting so much sleep. I'm just being distracted by having so much time to be able to interact, which is also a really good thing. So 
Uh, there's an update on everything. Life is good. Hope you guys have a, had a great 2018. Have a safe night tonight. Don't do anything stupid. If you drink, don't drive. Talk to you. I'll talk to you next year, as everyone's been saying. See you later.